I don't know how many of you like uh, good spy stories, but uh, there's a story that's true to life. It's a movie has been made of it called uh, The Man Who Never Was. These were in the days of the Second World War, 1943, and the British were going to attack from uh, North Africa up into Europe to drive the Germans back, and uh, they decided that they would focus on Sicily. But uh, surprise was essential to their victory, and so there was a spy in the, in the British Secret Service. His name was Ewan Montague, and he came up with this plan. They called it Operation Mincemeat, and they went to a morgue in London, and they found the body of a, a derelict man and uh, they dressed him up in a uniform, and they renamed him William Martin, uh, Major William Martin, a military courier. And uh, they carefully selected, they put some uh, love letters in his pocket and an old bus ticket and some unpaid bills and so on, and then um, left him to float in off the coast of Spain. And the Spaniards found him, and um, the news came to Hitler that uh, this British officer had in his pouch orders to attack Greece. And so the whole plan was changed. The Germans sent their panzer divisions into Greece. Erwin Rommel was moved from North Africa to lead up the troops in Athens. And uh, it was a, a total fiasco. They believed it. And the message was sent to Winston Churchill, mincemeat swallowed whole. <laughs> that was Operation Mincemeat. And so it's the story of a man who never was. This, uh, this William Martin didn't exist, and they simply made it up. So there's a, a verse that, uh, kind of a strange little statement. It's in Romans chapter 4 and verse 17, having to do with Abraham. And there we read, God, who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. And, of course, we have these amazing statements by God throughout Scripture, what is called the prophetic past. For example, God says to Abraham, I have made you the father of many nations. The fact was that he wasn't even the father of one boy at that point. But as far as God was concerned, it was a fait accompli. And as I thought about that, here the British army defeated the Nazis by using a dead man and giving him a new persona. And, you know, God has called us, we who were dead. He takes us up and he gives life to the dead. He gives us a new persona and he sends us into battle. And, and we are couriers for God. And we're taking a message, and we're disarming the enemy, and we're winning victories. And God is advancing his cause in the world by taking dead men and remaking them. And as the scripture says, calling those things which do not exist as though they did. You know, God loves boldness in faith. And Christians who pray are praying for things that don't exist. We're asking God to save souls. We're asking God to advance the kingdom, to, to give strength to people, and so on. And God makes these things come to be. It's an amazing thing, isn't it? And here we are. This story is kind of humorous in the sense that here, here was a very modest expense on the part of the British. It didn't cost any lives. The man was already dead. And yet they used it to neutralize the enemy. And to think that God takes people like us who were dead in sin, sitting in the shadow of death, and sends us on a mission. We are dead and our life is hidden with Christ in God. And the life of Christ, this new persona that we have, is manifested and God brings the victory. So, Another little reminder, folks, to pray into existence, blessings, laying hold of God, a God who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. 
We can lay hold of God. We can pray into existence blessings that presently do not exist because the God we deal with surpasses all our imagination and accomplishes things that only he could do.